the fourth Sunday after Pentecost, year C. From the Epistle to the Galatians. Whenever we have an opportunity, let us work for the good of all, and especially for those of the family of faith. In the name of the God in whom we ground our faith, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this week are full of folks just going about their business, doing not particularly spiritual jobs, who get to participate in an act of healing. A captive girl serving Naaman's wife was probably brushing her mistress's hair when the crucial conversation took place. The king of Israel was governing his people. The messengers were bearing messages. Naaman's servants were probably tending to the baggage. And the Jordan River was winding its way south from the Sea of Galilee. Likewise, Jesus' instructions to the 70 sound pretty much like what our parents taught us when we were small. Don't talk to strangers on the way. Greet people politely when you arrive. Don't get into fights with folks. Eat whatever's put in front of you. And if you sense that you've worn out your welcome, leave. Hidden in the midst of all these practical instructions is the spiritual bit. Cure the sick who are there and say to them, the kingdom of God has come near to you. Participating in miracles does not depend on how much fanfare surrounds them. For the one in need of healing, the need is dramatic. The healing itself, however, may simply look like giving thanks for the remembrance of God's holiness. Paul tells the Galatians that all must test their own work. Then that work, rather than their neighbor's work, will become a cause for pride for all must carry their own loads. Don't worry, says Paul, about whether your neighbor has a shinier badge than you do. Simply look for the opportunity to do good that God has set in front of you and do what you need to do to sustain your faith and energy so that you do not grow weary in doing what is right. Let us therefore do the simple things to restore ourselves with gentleness and to bear one another's burdens so that whenever the opportunity arises, we may be ready and able to work for the good of all. In the name of the God of all good, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>